Greetings. We are looking at a Supreme Duet fireplace. And this is another part of the video on the installation process. As you can see, I've used metal studs. And I'm using another product here and here. And that is called calcium silicate. It's a uh, high temperature board and it's got a high R value. Another product is Skamol, another product or Skamol Tech. Um, it's similar to that. And you could, if the, the boards were thick enough, actually frame everything just using the board. And you could skip all the, the metal framing, simply gluing it together. Skamol Tech has a video on how to do that. It's very interesting. However, I went with traditional framing. I did use metal studs. I'm a carpenter. I can use either one, wood or metal. The reason I chose metal is I'm working inside. I don't have to have a saw. I can cut it with a pair of tin snips. It's very easy to work with. Um, it's kind of nice when you're inside. You don't have to keep going out, cut the, the wood. You're not making a lot of sawdust. It's non-combustible. You can do a lot more with your framing, with metal studs, a lot easier. So you can make tweaks and stuff just by taking a pair of tin snips and snipping it away. So here's some of the detail on the framing. This particular fireplace has gravity vents. They must be insulated. As you can see, I've got it connected to a register. <clears throat> I put the opening down here. My blower's over here. This will all get sheet metal in. I really don't want to be sucking dust and dirt and crap from inside the uh, chase into the fireplace. So I'll clean all that out and isolate it. You can see the back of the board. It's just screwed on. Again, the board is real easy to utilize. You just cut it with a razor knife, score it. And some of the important things to make sure that you follow. Um, you know, you want to have your fire stop put in, which is that metal piece around the chimney. You want to make sure you have the top of your chase seal. Keep two inches clearance from combustibles. Now, a lot of heat will build up in your chase just because of what we have going on here. So I'm actually going to put another vent up here just to vent the air in the chase out so that any heat that's in there can escape. Um, and it just helps heat the house. There's no sense keeping it all trapped up in there. There's nothing really screwed to the fireplace. As far as the support structure, I do not recommend that you do screw anything to your fireplace. Um, you're going to have expansion and contraction. The fireplace is going to expand differently than the framing. If you attach and screw anything to the fireplace, you know, there's no screws going in here. There's no screws here. There's no screws here. The box is just sitting here. Um, the box itself is screwed down. The only thing that is screwed are these tabs here. And that's just so I can put my sheet metal in. Um, it's not a support thing. It's where there's any framework to the chase attached. Um, I just need to be able to put some sheet metal in there and I have to have something to screw to. Other than that, there's nothing that's screwed to the fireplace other than these panels and they float. Um, they're screwed to the framework. So there's nothing at all screwed into your fireplace. Very important. If you screw into your fireplace, you're gonna start having, um, you could have, you may not, a expansion and contraction issue where the fireplace heats up and then it starts making a booming noise. Um, so not something you wanna have happen. You need to use self-tapping screws. I put these here if somebody ever in the future wanted to put a big elk head or whatever 
mount something up there. There's some kind of support on either side, right in the center. It's generally where you would mount something. I did two different um, looks on this fireplace. I have the face of it, which is this side set up. It'll be loaded from this side. So I have a, a 16 inch hearth, which means code. Um, if you're gonna be loading from whatever side, you should have something 16 inches out in front of it in case a log falls out and lands on the floor, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the reason I flared it like I did is so you can see it from either side. There will be ceramic tile, which will be over this stuff here, this silicate, um, calcium silicate. And then there will be another piece across here. So kind of like drywall, only this stuff can take 2100 degrees and it's very durable. And you just put your tiles over it has a good um, K factor, which is resistance to heat transfer. So it's a good insulation board. Again, Skamoltech, uh, Micor 300, made by USSG is a similar product. And this is calcium silicate, just Google it online. There are a lot of different companies that offer this product. Um, in various shapes and sizes on eBay and Amazon. And I'll be using drywall. Um, the drywall on the face and the sides. There's plenty of clearance for the combustibles. Everything that can get hot has the calcium silicate on it. There's nothing combustible in the chase. The base was already here. I removed an existing fireplace. So I used this um, hearth. So, and that's kind of the reason that I framed it larger and recess the fireplace back. So as you can see, the fireplace is not very wide, but my chase is much wider. So it gives the appearance of a much bigger fireplace. Um, when you frame your chase, the bigger the better if you have the room. This fireplace is also a wood cook stove, which is kind of slick. So you can throw steaks on there, you got a hot bed of coals, bank your stuff over. And an emergency power is out, you have a way to cook. It's your air wash system. There's the top, it's all stainless inside. Air comes in around the outside, mixes with the air before it goes up the chimney. And air comes in here, keeps your glass clean. Air comes in underneath too as well. There's an ash pan that lifts out of there. There's a grate in the bottom. Again, if you buy a fireplace from woodstoves.net, we provide tech support. We can walk you through all of this on how to do it, minus the framing. Okay. Thank you.